Tonight's special segment, Healing Knees. Millions of Americans live with joint pain that's caused by the loss of cartilage around the knee. A cartilage helps to cushion the bones in the body's joints. And many patients opt for a knee replacement. But as our health beat reporter Sylvia Perez tells us, replacing the cartilage is also an option. That's it, John. Good work. Insurance executive John Golden is captured on video as he summits a 22,000 foot peak in the Himalayan mountains. Nice work, man. <laughs> what makes John's accomplishment so amazing is that he was once told his knee pain would keep him grounded forever. An old college football injury messed up John's knees. By his late 30s, the cartilage was destroyed. John wasn't ready for knee replacement, so he found Dr. Brian Cole at Rush University Medical Center who does cartilage replacement. We're taking either someone else's tissue or utilizing the patient's own tissue. The best patients for cartilage replacement tend to be younger than 50 with limited damage and do not have widespread arthritis. In one technique, a few cells are taken from a patient's knee or another part of the body and are grown in a lab. Those cells are then implanted back in the knee and should multiply, filling in the damaged area. There's actual real, he real healing that goes on to incorporate that tissue. In another version, cartilage from a cadaver is harvested and implanted. The implant can include both bone and cartilage, but the downside is there may be some risk of infection. But even as these techniques evolve, lab-grown cartilage still hasn't been considered by many to be as good as the original. Scientists are furiously looking for a better way. We've developed a material that serves as a Band-Aid that can be put in the place of the degenerated cartilage. At Brown University, scientists are trying a different approach. They're using carbon nanotubes, tiny strong fibers that have a rough surface to attract cartilage growing cells. When a person walks, the pressure on the tubes generates electricity, triggering the cells to grow cartilage. But this technique is still experimental and years away from reality. Just like everything else in life, uh, there is no quick fix. At the University of Chicago Medical Center, surgeons are not currently doing cartilage replacement. Dr. David Manning believes better techniques are coming, but for now, he does not see this as a good option. Most of the folks that show up with knee pain who are adults uh, actually have a more degenerative nature to their knee and are not candidates for that procedure. But John's younger age and lack of arthritis made him a good candidate. The surgery involved not just cartilage cells from a cadaver, but he also received an entire meniscus, the cushioning on either side of the joint. Amazed by his patient's progress, Dr. Cole wanted to see John in action. The two climbed Mount Chuckson in Washington State together. I went in thinking I was going to get a knee transplant, and what I did was it really reinvigorated my whole body, my whole being. Another more common procedure called microfracture, where tiny fractures are made in the bone to encourage the development of new cartilage, is favored by some doctors over those cell transplants. Researchers say a newer generation of cartilage replacement will soon be tested here in the U.S. Several companies are now competing to improve the type of cell that is grown for cartilage repair. For more information, go to our website, abc7chicago.com.